welcome all my beautiful signs of the zodiac. I'm Brenda, Brenda Taro, and I'm here again today to bring you your daily oracle messages for July the 15th, 2019. I truly want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking, sharing, and most of all, subscribing to them. Please be sure to click the bell button next to subscribe and you'll get notified immediately when these are out on open air for you to view on YouTube. You will also get notified when I go live on Google Hangouts to give out individual messages to those that want to join me in my chat room. As you know, this is strictly a general reading. Every single card may not resonate with everyone, but if some of it does, run with it and throw the rest out into the universe. If you want clarity, accuracy, and answers to any questions, then I invite you to click that little icon in the top right-hand corner of this video, and it will take you right into my website where you can see the services that I offer. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, my beautiful souls, let's see what we have here for your daily oracle messages. You've got chaos and conflict. Well, let's see what that's all about, eh? Chaos and conflict. Okay, some of us, our days can't always be completely perfect and rosy. So, you know what? It's about disarray and being at, a, at cross purposes with someone else. The tension of opposites. The value of chaos before order. The general meaning of it. Opposing forces come together to create a turbulent atmosphere. But consider the value of chaos that serves you well as you become unmoored by it. Scattered to the winds, you leave behind the parts of yourself you no longer need and disperse seeds to reinvent yourself anew. Although the conflict appears to exist externally, its essence is also internal, projected outward and causing disarray. <clears throat> so what we feel on the inside, we do project to the outside. So we have to be careful of that. You may find yourself at crossroad purposes with someone else facing a storm you feel you can't control. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yet every storm passes and chaos leads to a reordering of things. Conflict provides a way to see more than one side of a situation. Look upon this as just a moment in time when you may need to take shelter and step away from this. Don't be too eager to fight with someone. This is a time to understand rather than to be understood. And in relationships, this means stubbornness is keeping you in a state of opposition. The incessant need to be right will only serve to prolong the conflict that deep down you want to have resolved. This is an opportune moment to learn about your values, your sense of self, what's really important to you at this time. Some things are non-negotiable. If that's true, it's not necessary then to fight, is it? Can you find a way through the storming emotions to higher ground? Soon the air will clear and you will be in a much better place than before, for the storm will have passed, blazing a path for new growth in its wake. Things can become electric and enlightened, always better than before, if you use this time constructively. <clears throat> Now in prosperity, circumstances appear to be chaotic, but everything that is happening now is in truth shaking things up so you can find the real path to your prosperity. Yes, it's a stormy time and it feels as if there are opposing forces wherever you turn. Be assured that there is divine purpose in this chaos. Everything that doesn't work is better taken from you so the truest parts of yourself remain. The events occurring now are essentially for your ultimate prosperity. This chaos is divinely inspired, even though it doesn't appear that way now. In time, you will know this to be true. Okay. Well, conflicts. Pick your battles wisely, my friends. Now you've got to the sea. Oh, this sounds interesting. I love this graphics. <clears throat> this is about being in flow, returning to source recognizing how pieces fit together, a natural pattern of events. Isn't it wonderful when you feel yourself in the flow of life, when events and conditions seem to engage you in a way that is fluid and effortless? This card reminds you that going with the flow is exactly what you need to do right now. Ride the wave of opportunity formed by perfect conditions. Allow trust and faith to guide you forward as you flow like a river into the sea of life. And in a relationship, there are points in a relationship 
when you have to decide to go with the flow rather than dictate the course you share with someone else. Can you let go of the need to have things your way and allow the relationship itself, your combined goals and desires, to steer the ship? Can you both transcend your personalities and allow the partnership to form its own identity, its own energy? Now is the time to relax and see where this mutual journey goes together. And in prosperity, everything seems to work out when you stop scrambling and allow the sea of opportunities to wash over you and wake you up to your most prosperous potential. To get into the flow, you need to address your beliefs about abundance and money. The true meaning of your personal currency lies in your skills, your talents and abilities, and most important, your core beliefs. Everything flows from your inner world and is reflective in the outer world. When grateful to, ser when grateful to serve, you align your prosperity consciousness with a higher consciousness. And you can expect miracles to come in. Everything you need will come to you easily. Beautiful, beautiful. Going with the flow. Don't, don't oppose it. Lean into it. Flow like the ebbs of the sea. <clears throat> and your final card is all that glitters. Basically, this is a need to see beyond the superficial. The desire to, to put on a mask or dress something up to disguise its true nature. Trying to be something you're not. Maybe some of you know are hiding from something. Chasing after every sparkly new thing, maybe. Okay, it's only human to want to adorn oneself in trinkets and paint a pretty picture of oneself. It's natural to want to acquire the trappings of status or to deny them as a statement of rebellion. But if it sparkles, it is, is it better? Whether it's a fast car, a big house, a title or position, the stamp of authority or the sparkling of diamonds. These icons let you know something about a person, place or thing or do they? The truth is that people seek to acquire things because of what they will do for them and how they symbolically will elevate them and make them more attractive. It also signals that it's time to see beyond the adornments and probe underneath the surface. Learn to recognize the masks people wear and the motives underlying them. Imagine that all that glitter was gone. Would you still desire or object this person? Would you still desire the object of this person? And in a relationship, sometimes we try to become something we're not in, to impress others. We embellish a story a bit. We add some dramat, dr dramatic elements and, you know, to make it more appealing. The real person becomes hidden behind the sparkle and the shine. Then there are times when we don't see the true value of someone else because he or she may not have the glitz and glamour that seems so desirable. But it's time to look past the surface, beyond the mask, to the essence of the true person. Who that person is, not what he or she can give you, is important. See beyond the glitter and look for the inner glow. Use the eyes in your heart. Let go of the artificial and let what is authentic shine. And you know, your prosperity part of this is sometimes an opportunity looks so good that it glitters like gold and you just can't resist it. Especially when it appears others are doing so well and have hit the mother load. During the American gold rush, everyone hurried west to find their fortune and then deserted entire towns after the mining depleted the gold veins in the earth. So too can you deplete yourself as you chase after the latest shiny thing that has caught your eye. There is a quality in your present circumstances. Pay no attention to those who chase after fool's gold. Resist the temptation to be jealous of others. What they have achieved may not be the true success you seek. So don't compare yourself to them. You see only the surface right now, only the sparkle. Be assured that you will experience your own shining moment if you stick to what you know. All that glitters may not be gold, my friend. Well, very, very interesting messages. <clears throat> this is all about picking, you know, uh, you know, chaos and conflict, picking your battles wisely, realizing that if there's some chaos or debates or minor little arguments this week, don't, don't step into that energy. Push yourself away from it. Try to look at the whole picture and be open to the other person's side of the story as well. So pick your battles wisely. In the middle, you know, go with the flow. Sometimes it's easier to just turn around and walk away from that conflict. 
or just go with the flow. Just let, let the energy just flow as it is and don't force or push any situations in your life. Don't force anything. Allow it to come naturally into you. And always remember that all that glitters isn't gold, okay? Think of all the false gold that's out there. Think about all the, you know, the plastic, uh, the plastic in our world that, you know, we look through the plastic to see what's behind it, but often we find out that in, in reality, the plastic wasn't so good to begin with. This is all about you not trying to be something you're not because you're envious of someone else's wealth and prosperity and success. We're all individuals, beautiful souls, and just step into your own power. Step into it, what you want. Don't allow others' opinions to determine or dictate your happiness on your path. This is your personal journey. It's great to watch people out there and see their successes and want to, you know, grab onto their coattails, but it might not be our ride. It might not be our vehicle to take. It probably isn't supposed to be. So remember, my beautiful friends, live in your truth. Live your life to your desires to bring you your personal peace and happiness. I also want you to remember this in parting. The universe and the divine, your higher power, wants you to succeed, beautiful souls, and find your happiness and personal peace. So surrender to it and move towards your goals and your happiness. Blessings, my beautiful souls, and see you again soon. Thank you.